Canadian Real Estate versus Italian Villas, Part 2. I know you guys like that dog picture that I have in my basement, but all I got today is this hotel art, so I hope that's okay. For today's video, we're heading to Halifax, Nova Scotia for our most affordable property yet. It's an explosion of value. This is 121 Main Avenue, and from the outside it looks... Uh... Okay, just, just wait until you see the inside, okay? Give it a chance. Here's your entry foyer with some lovely laminate flooring and a storage bench. Just imagine putting your boots in there or maybe a blanket or something. Moving on, we have another room with what appears to be a closet, so I assume it's a bedroom and it's got parquet flooring of some kind. Here we have another room where they've taken down some kind of wall paneling and just left it there, you know, in case you want it. Here's your very modern open concept combination living room and kitchen. Imagine using this space for a trendy dinner party and inviting today's hottest celebrities like John C. Riley or that parrot that knows what things are made out of. Or if you're more of a garden party person, you can invite your guests into your carefully curated backyard. From the listing description, we see that this is a great investment opportunity because it has the ability to be two units as of right now, although it does require some work to meet living standard. And this party perfect Halifax home can be yours for the low, low price of $275,000. That's fair. If you use the traditional three times your income rule, you'd only need to make about $92,000 a year to afford this place. That's not bad at all. But if you're not like super into fishing or whatever, you'd go for this Italian villa instead. On the ground floor, this villa also features an open kitchen and living room concept, as well as a service bathroom with washing machine. On the next floor up, we'll find the master bedroom, a hallway with built-in wardrobe, and a large bathroom with a tub, a functioning toilet, and a functioning bidet. Heading up to the top floor, you'll find two more double bedrooms and a third bathroom. The villa is finished with terracotta flooring, brick arches, and wood beam ceilings, and also has a lovely outdoor space with sun exposure from two directions. So what's your pick? The potential for two units with only some work to meet living standard? or three bathrooms with bidets? Let me know in the comments.